and that man was having a conversation with me one time, and out the blue, he flipped the whole conversation. And he was like, yeah, Master P, they, they pissed at me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> oh, shit. We ain't, we you ain't talking, even talking about that. He wasn't talking about nothing about that. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, so I gotta ask you, and, and I know you here now, but I gotta ask you about uh, just Pimp C, because I said I was gonna go back to that, man. Like, oh, gee. Like, let's talk about that. Like, give me so, I need everybody give me a Pimp C story in here. You know oh, what I'm man. saying? I gotta hear, like, like you 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 mentioned knocking those down earlier. I was like, man, I wish I'd get Jade out to go off on that knocking those down beat one time. That'll be hard. I'll be over thinking. Yeah, that nigga hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'll be yeah. like, That'll be hard, nigga. But but like, well, how did you feel when you heard that and and knew what he was trying to do, or did you think like that lame or what? Man, when I first heard the song, I was laughing hard to the motherfucker. You know I mean, cause you know, um, that was bold. That was some bold statements he was saying. Yeah. You know what I mean? And a part of me being rebellious, coming from the bricks, I was like, who the fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. when you say Slim, Slim and Thug and Zero, zero y'all still. Quit bullshit, <laughs> what did he say? What did he say, J-Lo? Slim Thug and Zero, y'all still bullshit. Need to sit down, take a two, it's too much money till we get it. What is, what is that, What did he say? <laughs> like they were about two years old. Said, too, like, too, too much money to be getting. Pow wow, and the cool still ain't talking. But it's big, only you and shit keep walking, nigga. Y'all niggas need the game fucked up. All your record company nigga need to shut the fuck up. I'm that bullshit, bullshit rapping. Yeah. White people looking at us, that were happening. Say long as what's that? He figured out as long as we stay the body, they gonna run the side. And he telling the truth on that hoe. When I first heard it, I couldn't believe my, my ears. I what you say? What this nigga doing, man? I'm like, Pimp C, you better chill out. <laughs> These young niggas gonna come see you. Yeah, man, but then I was like, man, ain't you not even from Houston? <laughs> and you got personal. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's when it hit my head. I was like, why nobody from Houston with a voice did this? That's hard. Now that's something to think about. Then it flipped. I was like, this is the most amazing shit ever. <laughs> but you got the nuts to do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We ain't never looked at Pimp C like no gangster. No, no. Coming up, uh -uh, you know what I mean? Uh -uh. We looked at him like the player. The, the player, yeah, Pimp yeah, type. Pimp. When he did that at first, I was like, me being just ignorant, I was thinking like, who the fuck he think he talking to? <laughs> And then later I was like, that's amazing. You took, you had to be the hottest thing going when you was free. Everybody was Pepsi home, Pepsi home. Yeah. The the free free Pepsi campaign might be the biggest free somebody campaign we ever seen. That's real. And you know, and it was probably the first one you ever seen. That, that's real. And you mm -hmm. know what I mean? So when he came home, the momentum and all that, to direct that to fixing Houston problem, that was That's hard. when I started looking at that scenario. And I was like, wow, this nigga amazing. And it can happen. Like, this nigga did this. And then you see them niggas get together. They ain't had no choice. You see them niggas start coming man, together. Man, say they ain't had no choice, man. I see the picture. You they remember know, the picture? You remember the picture? You remember the picture? Place. All of them standing in the, in the picture. Yeah, yeah, at the ranch. Man, I say, look at this. When look I see that, I say, damn, pimp, you really ahead of your time. Because Pimp C is like one of my favorite pe person personalities period but but I be so I be when I'm riding German I be so high and he funny than a bitch like, you know what I mean that nigga say that nigga say man nobody make me laugh harder than that nigga say uh like some corn or barbecue real <laughs> you gonna say a barbecue meal? Yeah, you know, when you finish it, man, it's just like the nigga you say. But it's like with with him, he's so authentic, man. You know I mean, one of one of the rash moments with me and him that I remember is him on uh, the way you used to talk to me on the phone. Okay, it's like uh, I ain't never been talked to. What, what he like say? That. It's like you don't get to come and say back. 
You just listen. There's a one way to discuss yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> he just talking to He gonna give Man, you everything you need to tell Even with the riding on phones, he loves it so much. Look how he told me. He said, I'm gonna tell you what you need to do, though. You need to put me and Bun B on that bitch, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's how, it, yeah, and he had it on his mind. I was like, man, I ain't get a chance to tell him that's what I want. He don't that's listen. hard. He, like, he don't listen. He was just telling you. He just talked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you was like, okay, okay, you just listen to that nigga. And that man was having a conversation with me one time, and out the blue, he flipped the whole conversation. And he was like, yeah, Master P, they, they pistol with me. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! We ain't. We you ain't talking, even talking about that. He wasn't talking about nothing about that. But but he brought it up. He fucked me up, man. To mess your head up. What did you up. say? You just listen. You just listen. Every time I'd have never tried to say words with, with him, it been cut off. So, so you was just every listening time. to it every time. What man. did he say after he said that? He just said that and left it alone. Went back to the first. And went right back, but he threw that in there. He said, "Yeah, they put, they did that." You know what I mean? And he went back to the whole. Like it wasn't. It, it happened, but now I'm over here with it. Yeah, damn. Like, but it tells you how his mind was. He wasn't anybody, there on it. anybody who does that, they they don't. They're not a one track mind person. They're everywhere, they all they at that's once. That's how Pac was. Mm -hmm. I, a lot of people told me that's how Pac was. You know, badass. Yeah. Came out here and stayed with me for a little while. You know what I mean? Really? Yeah. Just on uh, he. I don't know if y'all ever heard of an artist out of the city called Duke Gutter. No, I ain't heard of Duke Gutter. Where he from? Third Ward. Third Ward. Yeah, he a street legend. And he a rapper too, know what I mean? But that's his cousin. Mm. And you know, he ended up bringing him to my studio. Wow. And, and you know, I'm anybody who connect Pac, I want stories. You got, you got to like, hear it, you got to hear it. Tell, tell me, about tell it. me you stories it. that you heard from him. It's it, damn near like Pimp C story. That's how they talk about him. Like he all over the place. One minute he'll be doing this, next minute he'll be doing that. One minute he damn near about to cry, next minute he. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean? It's just, just damn near like Pimp. In today's society, they call that bipolar. Man, <laughs> how how would when when you think about Pimp and I ask these questions all the time before it's just producing. Like, uh, what was one of the songs that when you listen to it, you're like, damn, he put that together right. When they hear that whole go My hard, favorite don't song. it, bro? I'm up early because ain't enough light in the daytime. Can't believe he did. My Bruh, favorite song. I done talked to Run and Spence. I done talked to that whole. I done talked to all of them. Now I talked to Bud. Only I didn't talk to is 3 2 and Pimp. Mm -hmm. But boy, hey, Man, that song know, is so cold. Do you know growing up jamming Pimp, I had to be at least damn near 20 or my late teens for sure when I realized that he was singing the, beat, uh, the choruses, doing the beats, and that rap. That, I didn't wow. even know that was that nigga on them Yeah, beach. yeah. When I seen it with my own eyes, that shook me. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.